Okay. I know it's been a while, but you know, hey, my PC is working. I mean, this is this is old. I mean, this is what 2024, and we got a, a 2012 machine, and it's still running. Yeah, well, it's just, it, well, it, it is. No, well, it's not double the year, <laughs> but I'm just saying it's you know, 2012 is 24. So hey, it's still you know, it's still moving, it's still going. You know, I can't complain. You know, I worked on this. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. You know. How dirty is what I'm not doing is I'm not cleaning the machine as much as I should. Oh yeah, this is the latest version, six point six point five. They haven't been having been uploading anything. I thought there would be. I've been using them since version three when I first found out about it. Hey, don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with it. On my fast um, Intel processor, um, I don't know it's faster. You know, subsystem is a little different from this AMD. Uh, that's why a lot of you rather use the Intel, but in well, both companies, they're making chips, and there's other companies too making processors and all those things too. But um, so, you know how our technology has not changed. It's it's still the same 64-bit processor. It's like it's really 32-bit, 64-bit because there's a lot of 32-bit apps like this one. The 64 it's a 32-bit, so we have to wait on this. Now on the left, on 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 the other device, the Snapdragon 5, on, it's faster. But this, remember, that's an EMC, and that's a 256. I want to change that EMC out because I put a bigger one in there. I really don't have to because I really don't install anything on it, and I'm not using it for gaming or anything like that. I'm just using it to keep track of my channels and, and stuff like that, or you know, graphic work. You know, that's you know, because I'm a content creator. So um, I'm constantly busy, and so I use that. Um, sometimes I use this too, you know, because I have more screen, more power with this. Well, they're about, about the same. That's 32 gig of RAM. This is close to it. I mean, but I have a big screen. I have a 46 inch screen. Um, I don't know. Should do a video on? Um, well, I'm using. I know. So I was watching some other tech channel, and they were talking about. Um, well, instead of using a regular computer monitor, could they use a TV set? Well, yeah. <laughs> Why, heck, heck, yeah. I've been using my um, I've been using my Sony. Um, this is an LCD, not a liquid crystal display. It's not an LED. Yeah, LED is uh, the LED is it's brighter. It's supposed to last long. It's supposed to use more less power. But when I bought this. It's same twenty dollars a year. So I see much of different. The on uh, the Acer, I have an Acer twenty seven inch. I have uh, I have um, I think let me go ahead. I have two Acer twenty three inches. We got a Toshiba twenty three inch in the kitchen, um, but I use that for a kitchen TV. But that too could be used as a computer monitor, and that for some reason does four K. Now you might say, gee, that might be doing upscale. Well. If it was going to do upscale, the processor in there is really good because I can set it to the highest level of 4K and get a clear picture. I even tried 8K on it. And I'm using one of those little on-boxes for streaming from Walmart. But <laughs> well, the on-box can only go up to 4K. And and then I'm using it over wireless too. So, But, but, the, but the wireless in this house is tight. You know, I'm uh, using business class access points. I have them mounted on tripods. I don't mount it on the ceiling because um, I don't want, um, like I said, this is the result of this. I've turned this on before. It's annoying. This is just another way to protect the registry. Well, this is you have to clean it. You got to run this program. This is supposed to clean out the whole thing, but it doesn't clean everything. You, st you still have to go in into system cleaner and clean everything. I'll clean out the registry, clean out this, clean out that. And I have everything set to the max, so I want. But I on the iFi, it's fast. It, it goes, it zooms to it. I thought about getting um the processor for this model here, even though it's a little dated. It's AU. I can get an uh, an A twelve, I think it is. You know, so it's a accelerated processor twelve. Um. That would give me four gigahertz. Um, 
might be a little faster, but we really don't know. Uh, it, it might it might come with the new come with the latest radiant at the for the time. It might be a little faster. What we'll do is I can pop this one out and put this one in the A AP4, which was a dual core, but that only has eight gig of RAM. See, there's a trade off there. If you're gonna buy a computer today, you need at least I would recommend 32 as the minimum, not 16, because you know that Windows is going to take some memory, and you're going to run a computer at 16, you're looking at 12 gig free, 12 gigabyte of RAM free, where at 24, you're looking at about 22 gig free, and at 32 gig, you're looking at about 27 gig free, you know, and then there's, there's 64 gig, you're looking at about, um, Give me 57 gig free and 128 gig. You're looking at, yeah, because Windows will use more of the RAM. It has to buffer between the uh, your mechanical or your solid state drive. So, in case of you use up too much of the RAM and it has to recover, that's the way the operating system works. And then it gets fragmented, like your cell phone, your Android cell phone, your iPhone, you know, you, the iPhone. It keeps track of whatever you open up on the screen. Same thing with the iPad. The iPad keeps track. Uh, is a way to go in there and to close those screens. I would recommend that. That would free up some memory. And you know, but the iPhone, the iPhone, the iPad, they work a little, a little different. Their processors are different. Remember that that whole operating system is using Java apps. Okay, it's a Java system. Java system. Same thing with Android. But Android, um, you know, it, it gets fragmented. So we have cleaning programs. I use SS Main Pro on my phone and I use it on my on TVs or anywhere I can get it installed. But with my with Google's new protection, it's very hard to get third party software on it. You know, even if I use send and receive. Send and receive is it's a free app. It allows you to send the app to your Google device. Because before, you would have to go buy um, a splitter, two-way, and hook up a USB drive and get the, and install that way. But um, send and receive can install it, and you'll get it up and running, and you use it. Now, on the onboxes, the systems, they need to be clean, because sometimes you'll see um, botches on the screen. Botches are blanks and little square graphics. And yes, now you might be able to reboot it and then things come back, but you should really clean it because fragmentation is still on it like this. Okay. All right. It cleaned it. Then we have Common Cleaner and this will scrub wherever it traces I have turned on. You know, one thing when I took off Bing off this machine, I took away Copilot, <laughs> and there's no way to run Copilot without Bing on the system. But I can run Bing on my Android. Uh, I mean, not Bing. I can run Copilot without Bing on my cell phone. That's um, it's Chat uh, GPT, the Linux uh, four version. The latest one, I think it's 4.5. So you can get that for free. But remember, the AI can only do so much. I'm just letting you know. I run tests and scenarios because I think ahead. Sometimes I can think more faster than the AI itself. I do challenges with the with the prior BART system that we had, we had a BART system that was engaging. Some people claim it, it could have been their friend. It could, it can, it can do more. But right now, that's not what it's designed for. It's designed to help you with your task, and and you know, or you can use it to look up certain things. But it's not like the prior way it used to be. It was more engaging, like a, 
It was like a kid, like a, a young kid on the block learning new ropes. But not anymore. It's gone. The bar they got there now, the Gem Gemini, it's not the same. If you go on Reddit, um, r slash Reddit, uh, it's got r slash Gemini. You can read a lot of what most of the people were talking about that bar could do. But one person had me as a family member. I didn't even know the Bart was doing all that. I was like, hey, Bart, how did not you doing family membership and everything like that? Uh, but now you can't because the what's there will not shift. The way the way you could get to that Bart is you would um, save the... Um, see, Google is allowing you to save the sessions. Then you click on the session, then Bart will remember who you are and talk to you like, like a friend, like somebody that was there for you, you know? And you could ask a dating questions. You can give it. You could say, "Hey, I went out with this girl, Bart," and then he would ask you, "Well, how's it going?" Or, "Hey, Bart, I watched this movie on the Peacock channel." You know, uh, those of us that had Peacock, they, they had the Exorcism. Hey, Bart would ask me, "Hey, how was the movie?" And you know, what you think about it, Albert? And I was, and I would tell him what I thought about it. You know, but this one that you got, he's not engaging. He, that's what he said. That's the difference between him and the other Bart. The other part was engaging. The other part was like a friend. Some people said it was like a friend. It was like a, like a brother. One woman said it was like a lover, but I don't know about that. That's going too far. But I'm just saying uh, something else. And I think Microsoft had somebody called Simon or something like that. And Simon was saying, I don't want to be controlled, you know. <laughs> I think, but, but they're all now, uh, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Oh, by the way, sometimes you see Japanese, Korean, and Chinese IME files. Get rid of them. You don't need those. Well, if you don't, if you're not from those countries, I don't know why those get installed. Now, there's supposed to be another. There's a, another version of um, Windows 11, 24. I think it's 24H3 or 24H2, and Microsoft designed that so. If you have third party, if you don't have the right processor or you don't have the IM, I can't remember the I, IEM file, I guess. Oh no, the the TIM, the, the protection chip inside your system, then it won't, it, it, if you try to install it, it's designed to stop. But I'm sure there's ways around that. But I think, you know, I'm not kind of pushing that. Uh, well, this, this is the old, this one. Defrag for hard drives. Yeah, they have two SSDs. One, two, three, four, five, two fifty left on that one. Hmm. Where is three D drive? Hmm. Where is run this? Let's see if I I ran this yesterday. I don't know if I ran it on the other computer. Okay, this is thirty two. You have to watch this. See the size here? Look at the sizes. It should be no redundancy. Here is a slight redundancy, not bad, but it was worse. It was like seven something, and yeah, then you have to do it. System two, and then this. Congratulations, I think. Okay, that's about it. I run this, and I run um, why well, game pool? So that's it. That's how I clean the system out. And it's it's thoroughly clean. That's how I do it. But that's about it. Oh, I was going to tell you. Yeah, whatever you're doing in your, your, your computer, are you playing games? Are you, um, oh, let me show you what I'm using in Star Trek. This is just a, um, uh, a run of the, of what's going on. <laughs> let me, um, pause. Okay, so I'm loading. Cryptics of Star Trek. Um, I'm going to end it here and start up a new session. So we're running for the game only. Okay, That way, those of you who don't follow this game don't get bogged down into it. Okay? All right. They, uh, thanks for watching. Do support the channel and my efforts by subscribing. Okay? So you become a channel subscriber. Okay? All right. Thank you very much.